Hey guys, so we're about to go and hang out with JC. Super excited. Cole's gonna get some downtime to um, play with Arrow and Tigger because you know he deserves to have some fun play dog time. And um, you know, I just got her a special, uh, you know, just like a small gift, some candy because she's so sweet. So get her something sweet. But like, for real, it's it's even though it's something small, I just want her to know that I'm thinking about her because I am extremely grateful for her. And when, you know, there's there's the hard aspect of like between the person who needs a caregiver and the caregiver. There's like a a strength in the relationship and a special like bond. And but then there's also the fact of you feel like you. Um, don't know how to say thank you enough and so um, I mean I owe her my life and I'm very thankful for her so just something little to say thank you um, even though I wish I could do more but I'm sure you guys noticed behind me is some PO boxes and we have decided after <laughs> two years of being asked finally that we're gonna do a PO box so I will list that in the description of this video and all other videos after this um, so that if you want to send something to us or Colt, you are now able to. Um, I've only done a few things in the past um, that I've had people send stuff, so this will be um, fun. Um, I decided to do it because Colt's birthday is on the 15th of this month so it's not that long away and i've had so many people request to send him a gift um so if you want to order something on amazon and send it if you want to just send a letter of your story with your service dog or just your disability story or just your life story i want to read it all and i want to get to know you guys because you guys get to know me and colt and i don't get to know you and your sweet dogs or family and I would like to. So if you could, you know, send us a letter talking about you, that would be great. And I'm so thankful for you guys. So thank you for asking about this. And I know it took me a while to actually do it. So thank you for being patient. But now we have a PO box and I'm very excited for reading all your letters and learning about you guys. And I'm sure Colt is gonna enjoy the treats. So um, his birthday's on the 15th. So if you do wanna send something, that would be very nice of you guys. Thank you so much for asking about this and being so gracious to ask about you know sending him treats and stuff that's just so nice and thank you guys for all that you do um and being part of this family there's the p.o box number guys so i will put the information in the description okay Tigger. Hi. Yeah, the good girl. She's giving him kisses. Cold's like, eh. <laughs> oh. Hey, hey, hey! <laughs> <That was it. laughs> oh god, Tigger and Cole also go really, really fast. There was like only one in it. <laughs> okay, here we go. He's like, I got it! <laughs> <laughs> she's, chewing, she's making bark right now. 
Oh man, he almost bulldozed right into him. <laughs> Arrow, I think Bigger, you're come. a little bit muddy. Look at Bigger, you. Come. Oh yeah, she's gonna need that. Bigger, come. Oh, come. he's got here. so much dirt in his mouth. Come here, bring it here. Bring. Nah, -uh. come here. Bring it here. Yes, get it. He's like, yes. I don't want it. Get it. Get it. Yes. Ah, uh ah, -uh. come. He's like, I don't want it. What? What? Happy dog. How come you bring the ball to me, but you Happy dog. The, uh... Oh. Oh, yeah. shit. Yeah. You just got me all muddy, though. I have a... Here. I need to go lay down. You can lay down over. Hi, guys. Um, we were out playing with the doggos, and uh, Colt, during play, alerted to, I believe, what could be a pass-out spell. Oh, there he is. Look what he's doing. That could have been better time. That is cool. You're cute. How do you feel about um, sometimes, because I know like from my perspective, we talk about it all the time, but sometimes uh, people want to know from like caregivers uh, perspective, how do you feel when stuff like this happens and our plans are interrupted or, oh my, okay. Our plans are, <laughs> I have dog butt in my face. <laughs> okay, you get the gist of the question. Yeah, um, so like from a caregiver perspective, it's, yeah, we have plans, but like you have to keep it in mind that because of your disability or because of the, the person you're caring for's disability, you have to um, kind of put that in the back of your mind that some things aren't gonna go according as planned, so you always have to have like this plan B. And I mean, sometimes it can get like a little frustrating like when you really wanna do something and then we end up losing more time because, you know, we have to wait this out. And like, I know that, that frustrates you, but that also frustrates me it's from time yeah, to time no, as well. Yeah, it frustrates me so much because it's, you know, it's like my life to live, but sometimes like you're, like we came over here, we had like big plans. We're both really hungry too. We're supposed to go get some food, but now we have to wait it out. So now my stomach kind of has to eat itself. Feeding itself. It's so hungry. It's eating itself. <laughs> but yeah, that's. Um, I thought that might might have been a good question for you, and I am thankful for you, JC, and for all the things that you go through with me. So thank you. No, I love doing the things that I do for you. You are my. You're like my person. If any of you have ever watched uh, Grey's Anatomy, Grey's Anatomy. <laughs> yeah, Janae is definitely Meredith Grey, and I'm totally her Christina, Christina Yang. Christina Yang, yeah. yeah. You're my person. We're, yeah, we're, you're my person. Like, you have to have that one person in your life, you yeah. know? Well, I mean, we call on the phone and we talk for like four hours straight. I know, seriously. <laughs> and then we'll Andy's like... like, like <laughs> cramp in our arm or something, and like our, phone, our arm won't go down. We talk until our phones die. Oh, my phone's at like 2% now. We'll literally be like on the phone and I'll have, you know, I'll get alerted or something like an hour into the conversation or something. And then she's like there through the whole seizure and recovery. And that's like, what, 30 minutes to two hours after he alerted. So we're like on the phone the entire time. Yeah. So she's been through everything with me. The shine of a thousand spotless. All the stars we steal from the night sky will never be
searching in the dark, your sweat soaking through the floor. And buried in your bones, there's an ache that you can't ignore.